So here's a video that will blow your mind. Well, not totally blow your mind if you're if you already know this, but um, let's talk about um the equation for the deflection. Oh. For the equation of it, it says that the fractural rigidity or the E times I Y is equal to the moment function, right? The M. So if you think about it, the units for or if we check the units. The units for E or the modulus of elasticity is the same for the unit for stress because um, it's basically the amount of stress that a material can resist that's why it's called elasticity so its units could be MPA or in Newton over meter squared or that's Pascals so if we write it down that would be Newton per meter squared now for the moment of inertia it is in meter to the fourth Right? It's always to the fourth power. For the y, or the deflection, but if this is our beam, deflection up or down, it's always in meters. Because it's the distance. So meters. Now how about for moment? So for moment, since that is a moment, we can say it's Newton times meter. Right? Moment, it's the force times the distance. Perpendicular. But now if you think about it, if we solve this right side, what we can have here is it would this would become meter to the fifth divided by meter squared. And that would equate to Newton meter to the to the third power, right? Because m to the fifth divided by m squared is m cube. Now as you can see, Newton meter cube and Newton Newton meter are no longer equal to each other. Hmm. So what's wrong here? Can you spot it? Let's try to check it again. For this unit, it's Newton over meter squared. For this one, it's meter to the fourth. For this one, it's meter. Well, for moment, it's Newton meter. Is this equation wrong? Or are we missing something? Well, the answer is yes, we miss something. This m right here, or the moment function, should have cube. So they will become equal to each other. Okay, so, but still, the question is why? Why do we put cube on here? Is it just for the sake of they would become equal or is there any reason why? Well, short answer is it has and the reason we put cube here is if we go back to the moment function. So from the very, very start of this, before it becomes the deflection equation, it is in the form E, I, Y, double prime or the second derivative y double prime that's it that's equal to the moment function right all right now since on the second step we integrate the moment function then if the unit of this is in newton meter then it will no longer be in newton meter because when you integrate it is said that you add one to the exponent and whatever the exponent will result will, will be the denominator right so when you add here one and on the second of first integral when you integrate it first then it will have it will become newton meter squared that is why and so and you integrate it again to get the deflection equation that is why you have newton meter cube. so that's it so here is also an important knowledge you need to know about moment uh, and deflection for us. The unit for this one, the slope equation, is equal to Newton meter squared. And the unit for the deflection is Newton meter cube. Alright. I hope you enjoy and thanks for watching. Peace out.